he is well briefed and I have no doubt uh, Eric Wamombi listening to him sitting down with him he has what it takes to take Madira Constitution to the next level and I am sure I have no doubt that the people of Madira did not make a mistake I believe they made the right decision I knew them because I voted for him I have also assured him of support from the national government from President William Ruto and I that whatever the national government is doing for Madeira constituency, William Ruto, our president, and I will be available to him. I have urged him to stay in touch with us continuously. We are available to him and the people of Madeira so that we listen to whatever needs are there. And he is lucky because I quite understand this constituency and therefore I will be of quite some bit of help. The same applies to our president who has also been there and we have been on repeated. So I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for the support that you have accorded me for the last five years. Those of you who are in the national government and uh, Swiss Development Fund, I want to say thank you. This work would not have been possible with I alone. I cannot take for granted your contribution. I am very grateful to you for the support that you gave to me. For those who are in the constituency office, I want to say thank you. The constituency uh, office manager, uh, my uh, personal assistants, the secretaries, the messengers, and the people who are in charge of the locations, our coordinators. I really want to say in the bottom of my heart. I could not have done it alone, and I'm really, really, very, very grateful. And I ask those of you whom the member of parliament will obtain to accord him similar support and make sure that you support him and to make sure that he can, he can succeed. In a very special way, I want to thank the people of Madeira where my political journey began. The people of Madeira are very special to me because when things became very tough, criminal justice system was weaponized against me. All our projects were suspended to punish me and to coerce me to abandon my political beliefs. The people of Madeira stuck with me and they told me not to be intimidated, they told me not to be coerced, they told me not to be pushed around there with me 100%. And that is how I was able to take a firm stand. Had the people of Madeira wavered and decided because I was at the siege and projects were being stopped and they abandoned me, I will not be where I am today. So I am really very grateful to the people of Madeira who essentially are the descendants of the Mongol. These are courageous people, they are people who are brave, and they are people who urged me to stay, to stay firm and not to be intimidated. And they hung around me and they stood with me, they prayed for me and supported me. And most importantly, finally, when it came to the ballot, they came out and voted for William Ruto and I to a man. I'll be forever be grateful to the people of Madeira and I want to assure them that I'll be. Though I'm busy with the national duties, Madeira is my home. I'll always be here and whatever I can do for the people of Madeira, I'll be very, very happy to do it uh, for them. Finally, I want to thank my church leaders in Madeira, the Madeira Economic Forum, for their support and their prayers. I have told the new member of parliament to work closely with the church leaders. I believe I succeeded largely because of working with them. Our church leaders, our pastors, our reverends, our bishops are good people. They are honest people. And when you work with them, you can't do wrong. Because they are with people every day. And they are very useful people in terms of giving you what people are saying and what people want. And what I did is that with continuous engagement with my church leaders, I was on top of things. I knew exactly where there is a problem and where there is none. And they guided me very well. And where I was making mistakes, they were able to correct me. I have asked the member of parliament to agree to be guided and to be corrected. I have asked him to continue listening to the people. I have asked him to continue visiting the people. Even after finishing his duties in Nairobi, I have requested him to consider spending a lot of time with the people of Madeira and continuously engage with them, listen to them, understand them, and address their issues as they come. So, 
those very many remarks once again i want to say thank you very much you good people for supporting me starting with me and for us succeeding together the successes that we have made in madera are not mine alone it was a joint effort between yourselves and i and for that i would remain grateful i want to wish on the very best we we'll hold you in prayer if you need our advice i'll be available if you need my counsel i'll be available if there's anything you want me to help you to do i'll just be there if you feel you are stuck somewhere and it's not very clear please don't hesitate to call me or come and see me i'll just be available for my good people over there don't forget me because I'm not there to please. Mm-hmm. Just in this house. When the devil is over, the moon and the bear, the kids are going to have to get a child. I'm a money a little bit of money because I'm going to have a child. I don't want to tell you, I'm still the same person. They see that button is a lot of getting in my head. But because I did not get it myself, no one will put it. And then we remain very humble. And we remain very available. 